Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about um, location study. I've already done this post, a similar post about um, location study that I did in uh, Los Angeles. And this one uh, is going to be maybe just different, different location, different insights. So this is my Chicago, uh, just from my last trip. There was a loft that originally belonged uh, and, and still belongs to, to, to a photographer that he rents out on Airbnb. So it has some uh, features that are very convenient for me as a uh, trail photographer, which I'll touch base on. Um, this is a 360 degree image, which I got uh, with my Gear 360 uh, camera that is for Samsung phones. And um, there are multiple reasons. I mean, this is the first thing I do when I arrive on location nowadays is to take this kind of 360 degree shot, uh, at least in the main room, but sometimes in every single room. It takes just a second. I just put it on a, on a, on a, on a, on a tripod and, and, and take, take, a, take a snapshot. Uh, one reason is just like for me is to my Facebook actually allows 360 degree photos. Um, that's me rocking out. Um, so one of the things I do is I usually post it on my Facebook, uh, visible to friends. Uh, vast majority of my friends are potential clients. <laughs> So the idea is to get my people who have not booked me potentially check out the location, maybe get excited, maybe see something, you know, a uh, cool location and be inspired to book me. Um, so the other reason for me to take the, the, this photo is you can see I just arrived. I mean, I still, still, un nothing is unpacked. This is still my bags there. Just, just got here is, uh, during the several days of shooting, I usually end up moving stuff around. Um, everything gets moved. Uh, it's easy to forget. You might think you'll remember, but trust me, once you, if you move 20 different things, 20 different ways, some things you'll remember, some things you'll have no idea. I strive to put everything back exactly the way it was, partially because I want to have uh, very good feedback from my hosts. Uh, so to make sure that uh, my Airbnb profile is, is, is in perfect uh, standing and this way it will be easier for me to rent places in the future. So that's another reason why I take the 360 degree photos. Like for example, I moved this uh, way, uh, I, I moved furniture, this furniture around to create more space, I moved this carpet, I moved this thing, uh, cleared the table for my equipment, moved this uh, table at some point, uh, removed the tablecloth from, from here, moved all of this out of the way into, to, to, to clear some space. So everything was moved. And this way, it's just like before I check out, I can quickly take a look at, at, at this image and, and see where everything went. So, uh, so that's kind of the, the second reason to take this, this photo. So on the, on the one hand, it's kind of like a, um, you know, promotional image, but on the other hand, it also has a purpose as far as putting things back together. Um, also it allows me to sometimes when I, when I, you know, take a break, I can just look at my phone and, and, and browse through and, and see if there's anything catches my eye that I might not be even seeing, um, in person when I look at it. And specifically I'm looking for, um, things to shoot. So for example, in, in th this location, so this is a pretty large loft. Uh, the pool table, uh, was very enjoyable for me, but you know, realistically I did not use it in any way. Uh, I couldn't, I didn't, couldn't come up with a specific concept in uh that it would make it usable for me um so it was kind of in the middle of it all but hey i enjoyed it i enjoyed it after the long days of shooting so that that was a good thing there's really not nothing i found exciting here i did make a few shots with a model in a hammock uh, shot from above uh was the was a floor i mean i did like the, the the texture of the floor so i have no idea whether those turned out really well or not i have not even looked at them yet um, the other things is like, I've noticed there's a, like interesting mannequins uh, over there. Um, I tried to use them. They did not quite work out the way I wanted because I was primarily shooting children and it's just like, you know, the adult nude mannequins did not really belong in any photograph of a child. So I just, just scrapped that. Uh, I did, I really enjoyed this, um, this stuff. This is kind of empty luggage that I created like a few little, uh, vintage looking sets using, using it. Um, there is also, I've noticed, of course, the, the staircase, which I, which I, one of the reasons I, you know, all of this, some of these things I, of course, noticed before I rented the place out, because I'll, I'm looking for stuff like that. So the staircase is a very usable, it's a diagonal, so compositionally speaking, it's an always photographically friendly thing to have, like a strong diagonal that, that you can work with in many different ways. 
Uh, there's, then there's also a bedroom loft, so that's where I was actually sleeping and staying. But I also could shoot from above, so I immediately noticed that I could shoot uh, down. So standing up, and I can have uh, the model located over here, which is one of the reasons I moved this everything, all of this out of the way. So just to make this corner actually uh, usable for me. I also noticed, of course, the mirror and, and the more mirrors. And there's also another movable mirror upstairs. And I love working with mirrors, so, and I most certainly did on this trip. And of course, the floor texture, I really enjoy the floor texture. Uh, wonderful white blank wall, so I did not need a white background. The photographer actually had a few rolls of seamless paper, but I did not end up using any of, any of those at all. I mean, I did come with my own background, so it did not really matter. But there is sufficient amount of space. Um, over here, so the, so that was very very uh, nice. That's uh, and there is also this locker. So, so I thought is like if I wanted to shoot kind of any kind of like dream like uh, environment, I could simply not include any surrounding and shoot tightly against the lockers, and that could um, look really nice. Uh, there is also some background stands that I locked out that I didn't apparently need to bring with me at all. So there were several stands uh, there and sandbags. So that was very convenient. Uh, and there is a projector, um, but at this time around I did not use it. I do work with projections sometimes, but projectors usually work best in, 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 in dark. And this is a very light uh, loft, so I could not really use it uh, during the day when most of my shoots were, so I did not really use any projections. So, But technically there's a projector that projects things onto the this white wall over here. Uh, the camera stand uh, here, which I did not end up using because I really didn't need it for anything. I, I just do not work with a static camera. I usually like handheld cameras because I move around a lot. So I, I didn't really need, need for that. So I just got it out of the way. But there are a few clamps, convenient, you know, a few conveniences of, of sharing uh, the place that belongs to another photographer. So um, after that, I started walking around and taking some snapshots of 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 of, um, of of the place. So you can see now here, for example, this is the lockers. So the reason, as I mentioned in my previous location study, the reason for these shots that I when I walk around the place and I take snapshots of things, is in case of a brain freeze, meaning that if you're in the middle of shoots, uh, sometimes a client comes in. You sometimes, uh, well, I sometimes uh, space out, meaning like I'm, 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 I, I just, I forget what can I do here, just because I'm in the moment. I'm talking to a client, yada yada. I'm not exactly in the right, right brain uh, mode yet. So for me, I just need some kind of starting point reminder. And so I, I take this little snapshot so that I can quickly look at my phone. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, lockers. I can, I can use lockers. Or like the, the next one, reminder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can use uh, the, the this vintage stuff and I can make a set. You will actually probably see some of the images, um, you know, popping up um, on my social media that, that utilize all, all the stuff that I'm showing you now. So the lockers, the the, uh, the vintage um, luggage type, type stuff, uh, the staircase. Uh, at some point I've noticed that uh, during some parts of the day there is a variant because there is a, uh, as you can see in the 3D image, probably, there is there are windows right over here that depending on the time of day that actually project the window shape onto the wall near the staircase and onto the staircase so that's a very neat little feature that i liked and i used depending on the time of day so i was like oh yeah that's that's very very exciting and in this image too in the original 3d image you would notice that even when it is the the sun is not shining directly on through the window even the the diffused light creates this wonderful little patterns on this wall right here which i of course decided that i would definitely use and i did position the model down below there and shooting with those um, natural patterns that, that were available to me but i also used the um, these patterns as well so putting the model into the slide or using just geometry so just like i allowed them to be in the background as this light shapes and uh, that helped me to compose some shots uh the other thing is like that's stand, me standing in the bedroom loft and shooting from above and i had two i mean I, I played around with two different compositional points so i could shoot onto the floor or i can technically shoot either on the floor or even have a model position on a staircase and it still provides an interesting um, vantage point and there's some potential for interesting compositions here as well uh, that's again just a different angle of the staircase. Uh, then that was my idea that I did end up actually using and that is instead of shooting um, down from loft, what if I was to position the model above 
So the, the model is standing in the in the bedroom loft while I'm standing below and shooting up. And uh, there are interesting lighting challenges and options available to me here, but it's just an interesting, strong uh, pattern. And the fan I can be the used or eliminate in Photoshop, and I can just just have clean white. Uh, I have options here, but nonetheless, this is this is another composition that I um, came up with. Uh, just the wooden floor, which I always love, and I love how burned and damaged and used it looks. So I must definitely use that quite a bit. I found a, a sack of uh, just burlap sack filled with uh, stuffing, whatever, cotton, I don't know. Just something nice and light, but I thought it would work really nicely with all that vintage luggage and, and the wooden floor and, um, and my burlap background that you can see right here, which I brought with me. Uh, I travel, burlap is one of the backgrounds that I bring. Um, so it was a hey, perfect, uh, perfect match for what I already have. Uh, then of course the mirror, and then of course if I shoot from above, then I can have the model laying down here in front of the mirror, and I'm shooting either the reflection or you know there are different effects I can do. I can position another mirror and create like this mirror corridor shooting from. I mean it's 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 there are many different options, but just a reminder to me that hey, don't forget to use the mirror. And here's a different thing I did with the staircase. So if you remember, the the light the light was shining uh, in the in the original image in the this one. The light was shining down like that. But I was limited to positioning the model here. Well, I thought, what if I do the opposite and I put my light here and shine through the through those steps and have the model up here. So which is exactly what I did uh, in this case. I just put actually just a golden reflector down there, caught that little bit of of sunlight and shown it back through the through the staircase so it gave me a slightly different um, lighting with the same setup the goal here of course is that um, you know I, in this case I had what I believe uh, 12 or 13 photo shoots in Chicago I'm trying not to replicate myself too much because obviously the models are not going to be too excited if you know they and all their friends have identical shots you know over and over and over again so I mean there are some things that repeat of course but uh, some signature looks that I do whatnot but overall I mean I try to give everybody one two unique images that are just just for them and nobody else has them and this is this is like so that that's one of the reasons I, I do so many different um, studies and options. So this is the ones that that, that that I took when I when I came in. I also another thing that I did is after studying the location and looking at everything, I kind of looked through, back through my own catalog, through my own Instagram, just to see if uh, any of my old uh, ideas could be modified in any way to fit this space. So for example, I mean I worked with with, with staircases before. Uh, but every staircase is different, so this this can give me, you know, I can look at some of my old images and use them as a starting point and modify them to fit this location. So I oftentimes go through my Instagram. I And same thing with my inspiration folder. I mean, obviously I have an inspiration folder like many photographers do, uh, on, and mine is on, on Dropbox. And oftentimes I go through it, and once again, not to replicate something. I'm not looking for images that... Uh, specifically like feature and staircase and try to replicate them one-to-one -one by any means uh, but I'm just just using them as a starting point something just like all right well uh, well there's a cool image and the model is like laying down for example not that I actually used it but say imagine the model was actually laying down along the steps and I'm like well that's that's an interesting image uh, how to, how can I make it mine? Well, I can make it mine by lighting it differently or choosing a different vantage points so or shooting from a slightly different angle. But I can use it as a starting point, uh, just like you know, a model laying down along, just to copy say a pose, something like that. So I see nothing wrong with that. I mean, I've mentioned it in one of my posts before. Um, I I do not see that you know, unless you replicate something one to one, and you you know you're not trying to be original whatsoever. I see no problem taking some element from a work of art or work of somebody else. Everybody does that, and nobody creates in the vacuum. And all of us, uh, it's it's a conversation. All of us share this this ideas, and the most important thing is to have an actual conversation, not just to repeat verbatim what you just you know seen but uh, take an element and add something yours to add the creative element uh, that is uniquely yours all right so that is my um, little video on the location study um, and um, i'm looking forward to sharing the images from this location with you that you will see they will start popping up within the next few weeks on my instagram all right thank you so much feel free to ask uh, any questions you have below thank you